Today I wanted to show you the shower system that we have installed here. We had the DTV Plus shower system. So when I was on the internet, I noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of videos out there that show you what to get for the shower system. So I hope this helps here. You're gonna need a digital interface mounting bracket, which goes back here. And then this is your digital interface. Now this digital interface will come with your cable system that you need that will hook all the way back to the thermostatic valve. You don't have to get anything else. Get it to power up. As you can see, I have two shower heads, two body sprays, and a rain head. So I got the six port thermostatic valve. Even though I only have five on there, I needed to get the six. If you don't want the rain head, don't get the six port thermostatic valve, get the four port. It'll save you quite a bit of money. Now with only being five, I could add the steam shower to this. It's a little bit more I'd have to buy and a little bit more work I'd have to do, but I could add that later on if I wanted to. Here I opened up the access panel to show you guys what we're looking at here. This is your six port thermostatic valve that I have. Even though I'm only using five of the ports out of the six, I just blocked out the six port. This is your, um, your DTV plus system right here. It's the brains. This is the muscle right here. Now, when you buy this, remember it does not come with your data cable. You have to buy your data cable separate. You're gonna need to have a power source in here. Obviously you're gonna need to have a GFI. And this kind of looks like a mess in here, but when you run your wires, you're going to want to have a drip line. So what you do is you bring your wire down and you just run a little loop in there and stuff. So that way if water does get in there, it will it'll run down the wire and then drip on the ground versus going back into your circuits and stuff. Well, let's get this thing fired up and I'll show you guys how this thing works. As you can see, it lights up, ready to go. You can increase your temperature. You can also decrease it by the blue arrow. We have dual shower heads in this shower. So if we we'll push start. Turn them off by just pressing the icons. We have dual body sprayers. Same thing, just hit the icon, turn them right off. And I don't have the glass door on the shower yet. We're waiting on that to be installed. So I can only run this a little while, but this is our rain head right here. What this does is this builds up, but once it gets enough water in the tray, then it'll start raining. There it goes. Now this is another feature on the rain head. If we hit this button right here, it'll be a constant downpour even more than what it is now. But I don't have my shower doors on, so I don't want to hit that button. Just wanted to show you these features. That was pretty cool.